What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's time for another MSI Claw 8 AI Plus video. And this time we're gonna be installing the new BIOS that dropped a couple of weeks ago in December. And I can't believe it's already been almost a year since I got this device. And you know what, it's been pretty great to be honest, except for the price increases. Intel's done a good job of updating drivers and things along the way. And MSI's done a pretty decent job trying to work on MSI Center and the BIOS and all that. We'll also take a look at some game comparisons for Cyberpunk and Forza with these BIOS and uh, see if we've got some difference there and that type of thing. Now, if we take a look in MSI Center M on the MSI Claw 8 here, you'll see that we do have the new BIOS update that's going to pop up. You could also use the support website to do this if you wanted to, but I usually prefer just to use MSI Center here. There's also a new fingerprint driver, but I had a little bit of issue getting that to actually install and disappear out of here, but I'll deal with that later. We're pretty much going to focus on this new BIOS that ends in dot one one two. Now, I'm also on the newest GPU driver and have been since December 3rd when the newest um, certified driver had come out. Uh, you can get this on the website is the easiest way, .8331 here. Uh, easy to install, and that's the newest certified driver from them as of December 3rd. So the only thing I'm going to really change on this system at all is going to be the BIOS install. Now you can see here in my system information, we're currently on the September dated .110, and I didn't have a .111 anywhere along the way that I saw, and we're going to be updating to that .112 here that they just dropped on December. I think it was like December 13th or so, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, that they pushed this BIOS update out. And I am seeing some difference in some of the games, which I find uh, pretty interesting. But let's jump into the, actually doing the BIOS install. Now you may be booted into the Xbox full screen experience because that's officially out. I know a lot of us are using that now or you may be over on the Windows desktop. You can do this either way. It's really not going to matter. I'm typically on the desktop when I'm doing updates. But we're going to go back into Center M here just like I was showing before. And we're going to go ahead and plug in because you're going to want to be plugged in anytime you're updating the BIOS. Now we'll be able to go back down here and scan in the news and updates again to find the BIOS update. Now once the scan's all done here, we're gonna go down and do the install. Now like I said, I tried to install the fingerprint driver a couple of times and I think I eventually got it, but it just hasn't disappeared out of the list yet. I'll deal with that later. But focusing on the BIOS update for the 112, we're gonna go ahead and get that done here on the claw. We haven't had a real BIOS update in quite a few months, so go ahead and do the install. It does let you know here you should be plugged in and all that. And you definitely don't wanna to try to power this thing on or off or do anything along the way. So go ahead and click install to do a quick little download, a little bit of a command prompt, and then it's going to go ahead and restart. It doesn't take that long, a few minutes to go through the whole process. Once it restarts, come into this flash uh, area here, which is going to be updating the actual BIOS. Once it finishes that, it's going to do a restart where it's going to go to black screen for a little bit. It's going to do quite a few restarts that it's going to go through. You're going to see your lights flash on the front. They could come on and off, and it's going to do a quite a few of those. Pretty typical for a BIOS update on pretty much any PC, so just kind of hang out and wait for that to be done. Stay patient. Don't try to hit the power button or do anything here, and just wait until it restarts again, which I haven't had any trouble so far with my BIOS updates on the claw, so hopefully nobody else does either but anyway once that's done it's going to restart a final time and you'll get into either your xbox full screen experience or your windows desktop however you have your claw booting up and that's it you're done the bios is updated and we're running on the newest version there and if i go back over here and we go to search and we'll do system information we are indeed on that dot one one two now dated for december 4th not the 13th december 4th dated on that bios update for the claw so we're updated easily there and it's the only change i've made to the system other than trying to install that fingerprint driver we're still on the same uh current gpu driver for intel and all that so there were some differences in these games i actually had to rerun and check all this because i did find it a bit interesting and it may just be me so this was kind of quick and dirty but i ran all these three or four times to check them out and when it came to forza horizon 5 which can be picky anyway when it comes to updates and 30 watts running here it did ultimately seem like it was running uh very similar we're getting very similar clocks and all that the fps is basically the same i wasn't expecting to see like a whole lot of difference when it came to these anyways but there is a little bit of variation as we get into it for this one a little better on the fps side for the older bios but the newer bios seem to run it a little bit cleaner pretty negligible there when it came to 30 watts in forza horizon 5. But I did notice for this game when I jumped over to 17 watts, the boost sometimes would be a little bit different before it finally settled itself down. And even at 17 watts and locking it down, it would still vary from 16 to 20. But for the most part, it did seem like the game was just running a little bit better at 17 watts now on this new BIOS, which I found interesting, that being the only change 
I made on the system and a good bit for FPS there uh, when it came to the 17 watts versus the 30 watts which was kind of really close or one FPS difference there so jumping over to cyberpunk and taking a look at that one it was kind of similar too except a little bit more of a difference if we're looking at the old bios versus the new uh 17 watts did run a bit better here too um i was kind of surprised with that now i had some performance issues before on cyberpunk with the other bios for whatever reason and i don't know if that was everybody so the kind of performance i'm seeing here the difference i'm seeing for whatever reason between these two bios may or may not relate to you but i can only show you what my device has been doing here and for me, at this 17 watts, we get a few more FPS, about three more FPS out of Cyberpunk, and it seemed to run a little bit better. And again, I ran all these three or four times, and I kept getting these same results, both for the old BIOS before I updated and the new. Now, when it came to 30 watts, unlike Forza Horizon 5, where it was very similar or it lost to the older BIOS, in Cyberpunk at the 30 watts, we actually do get a good bit more performance here at the exact same settings and everything here when it comes to the overall FPS, which was a good bit different. Now, I've seen people get on the other BIOS the 66 to 68 FPS I'm going to get here on the new. So again, this could have been more related to my device, but I was getting 60 to 63 for a while here on Cyberpunk and now back up to 67. So if you were someone like me that was having some performance issues with Cyberpunk in particular, maybe some other games, this BIOS may help with that. I got to test a lot more games and I would have to dig in a lot deeper. I just kind of took a look at those, ran the, the benchmark three or four times each and compared them and then put them in there to see how they were doing but yeah it definitely seems like something is better off when it comes to this bio so let me know if you guys have tried this are you seeing anything better when it comes to any certain games is it pretty much just the same for you um, it can be quirky when it comes to these devices we don't all always get the exact same experience but this is what i'm seeing for right now when it comes to the new bios.112 here for the claw 8 ai plus Anyways, guys, it's been a little while since I made a video for this, so when I saw the new BIOS had been out for a couple of weeks, I did want to cover it and take a look at it here, and I'm glad I did. I'm going to test out more games and see what these differences are and see if it shows more of that or if it was just a fluke with those two games or what the case is. But anyways, good luck updating your BIOS. Let me know how you made out. Thanks a lot for coming to watch the video as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.